six shots in the back, all fired by the defendant into the back of Casey Goodson with no reasonable basis. Mr. Schroyer just told you that Casey Goodson wasn't a threat on December 4th, 2020. Now his own witnesses are going to tell you differently. The special prosecutor, Gary Schroyer, says Goodson went to the dentist, picked up Subway sandwiches for his family, then he heads home. He says Goodson and Meade first made contact at an intersection minutes away from his home on a state's place. Goodson drives to his house, parking in the wrong direction and heading to the side door like he always does. Schroyer said Meade follows, and as Goodson walked through the door... All the shots passed through the storm door breaking the glass with three shots passing through that metal mesh, one striking the top of the frame. He says Goodson was found palms down, AirPods in his ears, sandwiches on the ground, and a handgun, which he was licensed to carry, also fell out of its holster. Defense attorney Caitlin Stevens says Meade has a different account of this day. She says he was on a separate mission with the U.S. Marshals in the area when he saw Goodson waving his gun around in the car. She says Meade saw a threat and radioed the other law enforcement to alert them, then followed Goodson. He is screaming at the gunman, drop your weapon. He's announcing his police presence. The gunman never drops the weapon. Instead, as that gunman is trying to get into this house, he turns and points a weapon at Jason. And in that split second, Jason believes he's going to be shot because he sees the gun point at him for a second time. And Jason shoots. Stephen says to the jury, she wants them to think of this from a reasonable police officer's perspective. The evidence will show that Jason was in fear for his life. While the state plans to prove otherwise and show Meade acted recklessly on that day. This is not justification. But remember, they have to prove it. They have to prove it, that it was. Our evidence will show beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty of the charges that we've charged him with. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.